superstars in every field come in clusters. They are born during those times when the planets are extra powerful, like 1942. Paul McCartney, Stephen Hawking, Eusebio, Amitabh Bachchan, Bobby Moore, Muhammad Ali, all of these legends were born in the same year, 1942. Do you think it's a coincidence that the year 1946 has produced three American presidents with five presidential terms? Or that the fact that the three greatest superstars of Indian cinema, Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan and Amit Khan, were born in the same year, 1965. So what it means is that some years are more powerful than the other years astrologically. And if I want to talk about uh, one uh, recent years, 1981, in 1981 it was a beautiful year when some of the greatest legends were born. In fact, I predicted in 2008 that Roger Federer at 1981 born would go on to win more than 20 Grand Slams. In fact, both 2011 and in 2015, I would predict that 1981 born captains MS Dhoni and Michael Clark will win the Cricket World Cups. Above all, in football, I could predict that two Euro Cups and one World Cup would be won by a 1981 born Spanish captain Iker Casillas. So what it means is that 1981 was very special. I don't want to get into the planetary details, but it was superb. Something similar happened in 1983 when the German captain Philip Lamb was born. So, if we need to know who will win the 2018 Football World Cup, then we need to look into which is that year where greatest super superstars are born in other sports after the year 1983. So who after Philip Lamb who was born in 1983? If you look around, you will see in tennis, it is Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray. In athletics, you would see a Usain Bolt and uh, in Formula 1, you would see a Sebastian Vettel or in cricket, you would see a Rohit Sharma. One common thing between all of these gentlemen is that they were born in the same year, 1986 or 87. So what it means is that after 1983, it's going to be 1986 or 87 born people who would go on to be huge achievers and superstars in sports. So what it can also mean is that the next superstar who would win the 2018 Football World Cup would also be born in the year 1986 or 1987. Because during these two years, the planet Uranus was in exaltation. That was a very, very powerful position and also two asteroids, you know, I call them as planet uh, X and planet Z, they were also in very powerful positions. So make no mistake about it, the person, the captain who would win the World Cup in 2018 would be born during 1986 or 1987. Now what does it mean? It means that Brazil is not going to win this World Cup. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry all Brazil fans across the world because Neymar is a 1992 born and there is no player in, uh, in Brazil who is born in 86 or 87 who can be the captain so Brazil cannot win this World Cup. England could have actually won with uh, their, uh, uh, their, their goalkeeper Joe Hart but unfortunately he is not there in the team so they wouldn't win, they missed the chance. And even Cristiano Ronaldo of Portugal misses the bus because he is born one year earlier. So, and also, football superpowers like Belgium, Poland, Denmark and Switzerland cannot make it this time because even their captains were not born during 1986 or 87. Okay, so now let's look at the list of all of those captains who were actually born during 1986 or 87. Okay, so let's uh, look here. Colombia, Uruguay, Germany, Spain, Russia, Mexico, France, Morocco, Nigeria and Argentina. Out of this list, let's take off all of those countries which we all know cannot make it. Russia, 
Morocco and Nigeria. Morocco make no mistake, it's a very strong team. I wouldn't be surprised if they got some upsets, but they wouldn't go very deep into the tournament. Colombia and Uruguay cannot make it because they don't have squads which look astrologically strong. And Mexico have a weak coach. So all these three countries cannot make it. So we're only left with four countries, Germany, Spain, France and Argentina who have realistic chances of winning this World Cup. If we dig deeper, Sergio Ramos of Spain has utilized the power of his planets in winning three Champions Leagues and Germany would find it difficult to win with the same coach Jockey Lowe. Lowe doesn't have it to win it twice in a row. So Germany and Spain are also out. So finally we have two countries which are going to win the World Cup 2018 Football World Cup and they are France or Argentina. So it's going to be Hugh Alonis or Lionel Messi, France or Argentina, Didier Deschamps or Solze Sampaoli. Either of the two teams can win. And if you're going to ask me, I really can't decide between the two. But if you're going to put a gun on my head and going to ask me one team which is going to win, then I would say um, <laughs> it's going to be Argentina. See. Uh, George Sampoli, the Argentinian coach, has not won anything really, really big in his life. If you look at Didier Deschamps, he has won a World Cup and a Euro as a captain. So, that's one reason why Argentina edges ahead. And one important other reason is that Lionel Messi has got a fabulous horoscope. Despite all of that, he could take his country very, very close to major victories, but he could never win one. And this is his biggest chance to gift the great World Cup to the country of Argentina. So, Argentina has a chance. Okay, now remember for any reason, if the captain of any country is changed, then the country's fortunes can change too. Portugal won the Euro last time because 1986-born Nani led them in the finals when Ronaldo, the 1985 born, was injured. Such things can happen, I'm not sure. But one thing that I'm very, very sure is that the captain who would lift the World Cup on the 15th of July in Moscow would be born in either 1986 or 1987. I'm sure about that. Watch out!